praise the Lord. Let's rise to our feet. In this evening, once again, I want us to worship the name of God. He's our Father, our God, our Maker. I want us to worship God. I want us to open our mouth and say, Jesus, we bless you. Thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence. Can we worship God and say, Jesus, we bless you. Father, we glorify your holy name. Let's appreciate him. The Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let's worship him for his love. Let's worship him because he has chosen us. We are among the chosen generation. Can we worship him and say, Jesus, we bless you. Father, we worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus until I see your face. The never meant that I see you face to face. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, you are the cup that won't run dry. Your prayer. something to you. You know, many of us, we must go to a place whereby you discover that without his presence, you are nothing. Father, Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Let's appreciate him and say, Jesus will bless you. If his presence means so much to you, if you know that without his presence, you are nothing, if you know that if his presence is not in your life, you will be empty. Can we worship him and say, Father, we bless you for your presence. Oh God, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus will bless you. Father, we worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we worship you. The Bible says you are in the congregation of the mighty. Thank you, Father, because whenever we gather, you are there with us. Oh God, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. We are among the mighty men and mighty women that you are raising for this generation. Daddy, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. For in Jesus' name I will worship. I want us to open our Bible to the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. The Bible said, being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. This evening, I want us to pray to the Lord and tell it to God and say, Father, Lord Jesus, you that have started a good work in my life, since this fasting and prayer have started, Lord, I pray you will bring them into completion in the name of Jesus. That good work that you have started in me, the Lord Jesus, you will bring them into completion in the name of Jesus. Because I know that nothing can stop your work upon my life. I know that the devil cannot stop it. I know that even myself, I cannot stop that work. The Lord Jesus, bring your work into completion in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray. The Lord Jesus will bring your work to completion in our life. In the name of Jesus. I want us to sing this song prayerfully. Prayerfully, I want us to sing this. Jesus Christ. The Father, 
at the time that this fasting will come to an end, there will be evidence in my life that I've really, really loved Jesus Christ. Labor in your front. Let's pray and say, Father Lord, may my labor not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name have we prayed. I pray the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Please don't let us forget our offering that we are going to give the last day. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us smile now. It is a very beautiful thing to be in the presence of God. And with that understanding, I want us to think deeply. There's a particular name you used to call God. When you call him, you feel his presence close to you. I want you to start calling God that name. Start calling him. It might be one. It might be more than one. It can be ten. It can be in Yoruba language. It can be in English language. Just make sure you call him. He's standing right before you. He's listening to you as you call him. Those beautiful names. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Prince of Peace. My healer. My comforter. My provider. My protector. The one who never fails. The rock of ages. The ancient of days. Adabama Paroye. The one who says yes and no one can say no. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Alpha and Omega, I call you Yahweh, the one who never fails, the one who never dies. Your, your reign is from eternity to eternity. The king that was not enthroned by a man. The king whose crown cannot be worn by any other person. The king whose shoe cannot be worn by any other person. The 24 elders bow down to worship you, Lord. The living creatures cry holy, holy, holy to your name because only you are worthy. It is a beautiful thing to be in your presence, O oh Lord. And we do not take it for granted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping us a seraph, a seraphine service. I'm trusting God that tomorrow you are going to give us deeper life service. Because we should be aware that it's not just CNS members that are here. Praise God. But that song is a wonderful one, you know. Praise God. So our brethren from Baptist that are here, don't worry, we sing Baptist song tomorrow. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many of you are exalted tonight? Jesus, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your faithfulness. You are the reliable God. Thank you, Father. Dependable, dependable God. Dependable, dependable God. You are the dependable God. Dependable, dependable God. You are dependable God. I'm 
solo Es el amor O mi misera Es el amor O da grupo o la mía Tu ano solo Es el amor Y que me digo y te le Es el amor No, sí, a mí se A mí se A mí se A mí se We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My cry to God tonight is that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this will not be a mere film, but a reality in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray again. What are we going to do? What's happening there? Gunshot. Is it that some want, some people want to pass here? What's happening? Huh? Moving where? And they're announcing themselves here. Is that? Is it that they are not aware that there is a worship center here? Or what's happening? Let every devil in the land be warned. Otherwise, 2022, there will be more casualty in this land than anybody can think of. They will bury men and the land will tremble. Let people tread with caution. Let people tread with caution. If they won't tread with caution, they will bury more people. Say, Prophet Abraham said it. In their cover, they will bury them in their hundreds. Let men tread with caution. The lamb has a wrath. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You see, there is a need for the church to show the forces of darkness. Are you with me? That our light cannot just convert men. Our light can break altars. So, that, has, that nonsense will stop. Praise God. Amen. I want you to pray before I begin to hear that nonsense. Amen. If you're a prophet, indeed, and you are not angry against idolatry, you are not one. 
That's a fact. You are not one. So I want you to pray now. Let's leave that. Amen. Praise God. I've spoken. So let's leave that one. Praise Jesus. Well, I have a good news for you. In the coming year, they are not. Okay. Why are they going? To their house. Okay. They are not. Okay. Let them just stay there. They cross it. If they cross this area, they will die in hundred. Praise God. Amen. Nobody can cross your father's house and do nonsense. If you do nonsense, praise God. That's the reason why the church must arise. That's the reason why the church must arise. Well, 2022, you will see more of God in the land. Yeah. Are you with me? Please, are you with me? You know why you must host God now? How many of you know why you must host God now? There are some nonsense that must not continue in the territory. It's what they call it today's rule. What they call it today's rule. If the devil has the boldness to build around Christ, then it's not Christ. It's not Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. You don't understand what is happening. What they are doing, they are doing it deliberately. Because they know that there was a pronouncement for, and listen, you can't hit against the altar of God and go scot free. Wait and see. All of you will come back and tell me the story. It's not a matter of saying amen. You kick against the rock, you are in trouble. The rock kick against you, you are in trouble. So you cry to God and let's come back to leave yourself out those ones. You know why? You see, my prophetic spirit was provoked today and um, whether Baal be God or Jehovah is today we shall know men that stood with the backings of the altars of darkness and they think they can push against church none of them will be alive 2022 yeah. If you have your family members among them, tell them to repent. If not, the axe is coming down strongly. You can't dear Jesus and you think you go scot free. He told Saul on the way to Damascus, it's a hard thing for you to kick against the tongue. It's a hard thing. He is merciful, but don't dear him. think they have charm and they think they can just do anything they like you know some of them we are boasting in charm and when what happened this year happened how many of them were alive how many of them the remaining one of them if they are not one they will go the way the rest go don't dare the church if you dare the church you will die for nothing it's a warning let every devil in the land hear that. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. There is no one like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The days of darkness doing anything and nobody will challenge them in the land. That land, that day, those days are gone. Yes, they are what? Gone. If you make any noise, we hear.
days of raising altars for the devil and everybody will hide. That, those days are gone. Raise any altar now, we we'll confront it. Confront it. Father, we thank you. We give you all that glory. Amen. I want you to pray a prayer. Lord, let your own of vengeance against darkness be stronger. Yes. Pray that prayer. Let your horn of vengeance against darkness be strong. Are you praying or you are playing? Let your horn of vengeance be strong against darkness, O God. Let every altar giving darkness back in, let them crash. Enough of the assault against your church. of the harassment in Jesus name we have prayed if we sit down now and we take the word of God but many of you will not understand why we need to pray the prayer we are praying many times if some men if God does not make scapegoats Repentance will not be possible. Amen. 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 You will say, I've prayed the wrong prayer. If I didn't see it in Acts of Apostles, that Paul looked at a man and said, Now you shall be in darkness. And instantly, he became blind. Lord, I ask today. Everyone, whatever their name and whatever the backing of darkness that they have, that they became bold because they have chance and become bold because they have some altars of that, and they dare utterances from your altar. Lord, I cry tonight, not tomorrow, tonight, visit them with your judgment. So that repentance can hit the land and men may fear. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Sit down. Hallelujah. When we host God, in the morning, God showed us that, um, are you with me? Praise God. It is a journey into possibilities in God that are not written. Are you with me? But that which is written, are you with me, forms a pattern 
fall. That which is written forms a pattern for. Please sit down. Amen. And we saw it in the scriptures this morning that there are many things, praise the Lord, that are not written. And if they were to be written, the word cannot contain the books that will be wrote. And there are all possibilities in Christ Jesus. Possibility where? Yes. Now listen to me. When we talk about poss these possibilities not written, we are not saying you begin to touch a realm that does not exist in Christ. Amen. Are you with me? The boundary of all you can touch in God is defined by Christ. Who defines it? Christ. So, there are possibilities only that exist in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we check and you don't find them in Christ, they are not worth to touch, no matter how precious they are. Are you with me? No matter how attractive they may be. No matter how powerful they may appear. And that's why, praise God, amen, when we begin to talk about possibilities in Christ, are you with me? You must understand the limit to which you are given. The guide into touching these possibilities is still the spirit of the living God. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. Now, you see, this is the problem we have in the church. Many times, people just take a side of the message. They don't take the other side. And so they are plugged into error. Amen. Don't lose your balance on any message. Hear me again. As there are many things that were wrought by Christ that are not written, that those things that are written are inviting us into, are you with me? The Spirit of God is still the one that marks what we receive and what we cannot receive. Amen. Faith does not just take from God yes all the time. Faith also takes no from God. Are you still with me? So there are many times that God will say no. It's, still, it's also one of the answers. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 2. Let's read from verse 10. He said, Okay, first Corinthians, sorry. Chapter 2. Let's read from verse uh, 10. Praise God. He said, But have but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth how many things? How many things? So it means, are you with me? Nothing can escape the spirit. Whether things of God, things of man, and things of the devil. Listen to that. Nothing. The spirit searches all things, including the deep secret of Satan. The deepest of the deepest secrets of man, are you with me, is not hid from the spirit of God. He sees it all. And that's why when we ask God and the prophetic begins, are you with me, it opened deep secret that men are willing to keep. 
Hallelujah. For instance, no man will be willing to come and confess willingly if not under that influence of the spirit that Kai, I have done this wrong. Are you with me? Your self-esteem will not permit that. But when the prophetic comes to rescue men so that he can force them to the place of repentance, then the spirit of God comes and says, you have done this. You have done this. You have done this. Exposing you revealing you and revealing the intent of your heart so that it can bring you to a place of saying God I am sorry you see most of the time when we come to revelations like this it's not to disgrace you it's because God still loves you may you not come to a point where God is quiet over your matter Amen. you don't understand you don't understand one of the greatest judgment of God on a generation is that God look at them and God stop talking. Are you with me? That God will look at a person and say, "Are you?" That's he stop talking. Then the second thing, he removes from you every restraint. Are you with me? Do you understand what I mean by restraints? So, amen. Even if you don't hear God, clearly like a prophet will do, there is something on the inside of you that God has placed there that is a check. That when you are going wrong, you push back and say, ah, that thing is not there, that thing is wrong. Then that energy is there to say, ah, no, 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 this thing does not befit me. Ah, no, 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 I won't go into this. Are you with me? That's the energy that comes on the inside of you. When evil touches you a bit, you say, ah, Jesus. And you cry and you pray and say, God, wash me clean. In the days when God removes such a thing from a man, and he no, he no longer feels bad in doing wrong. Are you with me? Praise God. The things that God calls abomination, he now enjoys them. He feels good about them. He say, oh, I feel good about it. Now he seeks them with eagerness, without restraint. Are you with me? You see, when you look at such a generation, cry for them. Because it is one of the most sorest judgment of God upon a generation. One, God stopped talking to them. Two, it takes away restraint. Upon such a generation, the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 8, come to pass. The Bible says, and as they refused to retain God, God also gave them up to a reprobate mind to do things that are not convenient. How can a man do things that are not convenient? The restraint has been taken away. That will never be you. Yeah. The Bible said they rejoice in shame. The what? Shameful things become things they rejoice about. Things that when you hear them, you block your ears. But they will say it and still enjoy it. They will sing with it. They will play with it. Amen. What led us into this is when we are talking about the such dimension of the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? The such dimension of the Holy Ghost can only be captured in that limited word called omniscience. It is still so limited to describe him. Are you with me? The such dimension of the Holy Ghost is that, are you with me? He does not need to search before he knows. You see, we use the word search here so that men can understand because, you see, the things of the Spirit are too high for the fallen man. Are you with me? So in communicating them to man, amen, man can only use by the help of the spirit the closest language to them. Mm, that's why they will say, he that sat upon the throne is unto or like. Because that which resembles him does not exist in the fallen dimension. So they will use something that looks 
to describe him, but he's greater than that. So the word search will come in so that we can understand it in, in the way the Spirit of God is trying to educate our mind. Are you with me? But here, the Spirit does not need to search before he knows. So to the point that there is nothing in God. Somebody saying God. Hey, you don't understand that statement. That there is a such facility, an agent in the Godhead, are you with me now, that knows everything about God to the point that there is nothing in God that is hidden. Oh, you are not with me. That in God there is what? Nothing hidden to him. And if, if an agent in the Godhead can know God finish, that nothing in God is hidden from him. Are you with me? So what is about you that will be hidden? He knows everything about Satan from start to finish, from finish to infinity, from finish to which one again? From finish to finish. So what about man? He that can read God and know God from eternity to eternity with nothing hidden, are you with me now? We know man that only existed in time. He searches all things. Are you with me? Now, to now show you how great those things are, he now includes that cut, yea, the deep things of who? You are not with me. The deep things of God. Now, he started that way, amen, but continued. The next verse. He said, he said, For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but who? The spirit of God. The next verse. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, you see, so that you will not make the mistake of thinking that though he searches all things, he can reveal all things to you. Hello, church. Amen. So he brought us to that boundary. And then he said, Now we have received not the spirit of the law of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are what? So it means that are things that are not given to us. So when we talk about not written and unprecedented dimensions in God. Are you with me? If you are here, say amen. amen. We are talking about those dimensions that the Spirit of God will permit us to touch. So the unprecedented dimensions in God, the one that decides which you touch and which not, is still the Spirit. Are you with me? So in hosting Him, praise God, that which we express as divine expression is coordinated, facilitated, guided, and prosecuted by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? So your host team was still under guidance. Do you understand that? You host him, but you are still under what? Guidance of what can be expressed. Amen. There are many things in God that are not revealed. But every possibility is that are not written that a man will come into. One area to judge them is that they will glorify Jesus. What would they do? Are you with me? What would they do? They will glorify Jesus. You see, I have to sit you down and teach you again tonight because I found out that men are quick to pray. But a whole lot of time, are you with me now? A whole a generation prays, but they don't know what they are praying about. I said that 
yesterday in the morning. Are you with me? You know, the mother of the Zebedees came with a request. Is that not? And that request looked like a prayer. Let my son sit where? On the right and on the left. Talk to me. I mean, what's left? Amen. Abi, I be, I'm the president. Then, Tayo Mokai becomes the vice president. And the Lord Mokai became the general secretary. What's left? Compensation and the assistant secretary. You understand what I'm saying? So, paraventure, the secretary is not. You can. You know, you know something that amazes me? Because I've attended meetings. The assistant secretary will be the one to write the minute. The secretary will be the one to read it. He does all the writing of minutes. And in the days when they, go, they are going to sign anything, he dare not sign. He's just a recording officer. Praise God. So why we take the Igba Kene and Igba Kedi? The remaining Igba is Igba Kiba. But she came and said, let my son sit on the right and on the left. And Jesus looked at her and said, you don't know what to ask. So it means you can put a prayer point to heaven and you don't know what you're asking for. With all aggression, with all zeal, with all intensity, that men will say, God came here. Ah, there are many times we pray with intensity and we think God came. Heaven is only laughing at us. That these children don't know what they're asking for. They will allow our intensity to grow well. Are you with me? And when they will come to respond to us, they will say, wait. Because in the days when the request of the mother of the Zebedees will come, because it was her children, it was in the will of their children, the day God will answer their request, you know he answered? Eh? The one that sits on the right was the first that they cut off his head. He asked, the thing, he sat now. See me, he sat. Have you a joke? The top of his head. And the one that wants to sit on the left, which is the youngest. Are you with me now? Praise God. Praise God. He saw and experienced all the persecution the church experienced. I mean all. When he saw the revelation, it was in the field of persecution. And he also saw the decadence that was coming into the church. It started in his days. He saw everything. Before he died. So they sat. You know, they were thinking of an exalted thing. They didn't know that guy. You see, sometimes eh, you must ask the Holy Spirit to teach you what to pray for. Before you ask for trouble for your life. Oh Lord, subject me to the process that you took Benson out of truth. Lord help me. Okay. Oh Lord, bring me into all the experience of Ayo Baba Lola. You know, sometimes the Holy Spirit must hold your mouth. So don't say anything. Because when you pray that prayer, you pray that with infantizing that was why Paul said I bear them record for their zealous but not after knowledge today may knowledge be imparted upon your soul I can hear you say amen you know I have to slow down the way we pray so that we can teach before men begin to pray themselves into things that will damage them. So, do you now understand what we started in the morning? Are you with me? Praise God. The limit of the unprecedented things not written that you can touch is determined by who? The Holy Spirit. So, let the Spirit be the guide. 
Spirit of God, my teacher, be showing the things of Christ to me more, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, Jesus. more of His saving fullness, more of His love who died for me. Amen. If you are still with me, let me hear you say amen. amen. Now, listen to this. When you host him, are you with me? One of the expressions that a man comes into, are you with me? Are activations that brings a man into more stature of Christ. Amen. What do I say it is? Activations that brings a man into more stature of Christ. Amen. Because our recreation in Christ Jesus, are you with me, is deliberately pattern to bring us into the full stature of Christ. Into the full stature of who? So when we host him, praise God, we begin to manifest the possibilities in Christ. Amen. Why do we begin to manifest? I can't hear you. Let's do two scriptures. If you are serious, say amen. If you are serious, say amen. Let's read two scriptures. Then we are going to see one. One of those things. And we pray tonight and we go home. Romans chapter 8 verse 29. Quickly. Then we see Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13. I can read it. He said, Those he for new, eh? he also did predestinate to be conformed. What? To the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among how many? Many brethren. Amen. Ah. May we be sons of God in the status of Christ. Amen. Oh, do you understand that prayer? Amen. You know I pray that prayer for you. And you still pray it. It's a prayer you are going to pray. You pray seriously. Because when we read the genealogy of Christ, they ended with an Adam, the son of God. So we saw that Adam, that a man, we see with that dimension, you see, a man can be the son of God in the stature of Adam. Hmm? Eh? Praise God. Oh, are you with me? And you know God is the father of all spirits. Yeah, that's the scripture. God is the father of how many? All spirits. So a man can be the son of God and he's in the stature of angels. Amen. But according to the writings of the scriptures, you are not meant to be conformed to the stature of angels. You are meant to be conformed to the stature of who? Of Christ. Praise God. Are you still with me? If you are still here, say amen. Amen. As impressive as angels are, your ranking in stature is not the ranking of an angel, it's the ranking of the Son of God. Not just a Son of God, but in the stature of Christ. Do you understand what I'm saying? How many of you understand what I'm saying? Do you know this? 
so that praise God anywhere you appear the only personality that you express is no other but who Christ without any ambiguity without any confusion you know when we talk like this some people say but Christ Jesus is loving Jesus is this Jesus is that I know that one too. but please amen he's also a lion uh, amen let's teach the church the right thing he's also what he can roar and when they call somebody a lion it's not just that he can roar he can bite he can tear and he can kill Let's go. <laughs> Amen. We are going to see one of the things that characterize Christ today. And then we press into prayer. So, when in the days when you begin to bring these divine expressions, if one, one of these things that we are going to mention today does not index your expression, praise God. Go back to God. You have no study. It is Christ. Amen. And the only one that defeated Satan in his territory was Christ. Eh? Are you with me? As in he defeated him Hands down. The only one that, oh, that said it boldly, that the prince of this world cometh and he has nothing in me, was Christ. Are you with me now? The one that defeated the power of Satan, which is death, was Christ. Are you with me? Oh, uh, hello? Are you with me? It's Christ. So, you are going to discover, praise God. Praise God. That in the matter of sin, in the matter of death, hello, and in the matters of the things of this world, the one that manifested God and put Satan where he belonged was Christ. So when the Bible says you will conform to the image of him and he will be the firstborn among many brethren, it means the way David brought down the head of Goliath and then men in his lineage you know that it was not only David that killed, Goliath, that killed the giants you are not here again now if you read if you have read the profile of the giant killers are you with me the profile of who you will discover that David killed Goliath then the men of David killed other sons of the giants so when God said you will conform to the image of Christ are you with me now praise God Jesus open the door and open the floor to show us that Satan could be defeated. So you also conform to his image. Then on every ground where Christ defeated Satan, you will defeat him also. You are not here. Now you see, if this does not index the divinity you express 2022, you have not hosted him. Listen to me. Ah, Agbara ni kakoni mufe. Isotele ni kakoni mufe. Ekuo luwa lo. I mean, you understand what I'm saying here now. So it means, are you with me? Praise God. Hey, hello. So, to be conformed to the image of His Son. And can I say this to you? Praise God. Your making does not amount to making until God sees you in the stature of Christ. So, the hosting is to activate on the inside of you the stature of Christ.
Because only men in the stature of Christ are indeed sons of God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13. After he has told us, he has given some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some say for the perfecting of sin. Now he now said, till we all come, how? In the unity of what? Faith. And to the knowledge. You see, the knowledge here is not just being taught. The knowledge here means into the experience of the Son of God. I pray, my dear, 2022, are you here? You will experience the Son of God. Yeah. Ah, do you understand what I'm saying at all? See? Praise God. You experience Jesus in prayer. So you know what that means? It's not that you will pray and see Jesus. When you experience Jesus in prayer, it means you will pray the way he prayed. Abba, somebody's not here. Conforming to the image of Christ, you will pray the way he prayed. And you can't pray the way Christ prays and not get the answer he got. Abba, somebody's changing level. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Can you imagine experiencing the way he prayed? And you pray that way. Abba, amen. Amen. Now, now you're coming to experiencing him in terms of communication with the father. He came to a post and he told us, I can of myself do nothing as I hear. So it means, are you with me? When you experience him that way, you come to a place of hearing per day. He said, greater work than this shall the father show unto the son that ye may marvel. So you come to a place where God said, you see, uh, uh, apostle, your father have called apostle, apostle, here come. And then you come to a place where God says, this is what you want to do today. Abba. So before the day comes, you already see what God wants to do. And then you are lying with God to bring those things into time. From tonight, 2022, up with there, on daily basis, you will enjoy a flight to see what God wants to do. Do you understand that dimension? Do you understand that dimension? So before, tomorrow is 29. So the night of 28, you already see what they will do in 29. And you wake up with in the morning. Are you with me now? Bringing what God showed you in eternity into time. Because you have experienced who? The Son of God. You come, you come to a place where ah, what he sees with the Father, his interaction and fellowship with the Father becomes your dimension of fellowship on every day. Ah, Christ by death opened that access again. It is possible. A place where man can access God. Can I say this to you? When Adam was in fellowship with God, everything he named was according to the man of, with the mind of God. And everything he called them, that they named the beer. The day he lost fellowship, he stopped naming. He stopped naming. Check it very well. Adam was not the one that named his children. Oh, you, you have not read it. Adam was not the one that named the children. But you come to a place of fellowship. Are you with me? And the Holy Ghost said, Come. I will show you things that must come here after. Are you with me? They were busy showing him the beauty of the stone, and Jesus laughed. He has seen many years to come. And he said, These stones you see here, one stone shall not stand upon the other. Can I say this to you? He is a man of full details about everything in the agenda of God. So he know, ah, they were showing the beauty of the top and he said, one stone shall not stand up. They came to him and said, tell us. He wasn't saying, let me pray. It was an immediate download. Can't you ask the question, when did he come into it? Because there was a place of fellowship with the father where the father showed the son what he's doing. Is somebody here? You will enter into that place. Uh, some people are not willing to enter. How I many of you want to enter? You will pray. Do you want to pray? Or you want to still want to play? 
Because as I'm talking, some of you are still enjoying the fun and then you want to go off in the spirit. You know, it will take a serious depravity for a man to be sleeping under my word now. It's going to take a very... That, that person needs a serious energy of the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? To lay hands on him and say, Mosu, Mosu, Mosu. Because if this kind of word is coming and you are still sleeping, devil is doing extra work on your life. Eh, eh? Extra work. Extra, extra shift in your life. Do you want to pray? I experienced the Son of God into the fellowship of seeing what the Father is doing daily. That I will bring into time what I see in eternity. Aha, aha. Those that want to cry, we cry now. Some men are not willing to cry. They are just willing to pray. Oh, is that your cry? I experienced the Son of God to come into the Abba. Aya, Oye, Elayi, Mokwa, Mkatala. Saba, Arosa, Kili, Makumbale. Kibiliki kakwata na batisa. Ah, I will see what the Father is doing. Ah, you are not, you are not crying to God. You are not crying. Some men are not serious about this. They just want the elementary things in God. Those of us that want the advanced, they can we cry? to pray for you will know what to pray against are you with me now and what to permit by prayers now are you following me amen amen some years ago i didn't know the man we i was just i just prayed then you see when you come to that dimension even your sleep is not a waste when you sleep you still continue in fellowship so, are you with me? When you sleep, you still continue in. So, God comes to you in your dream and sits with you and begins to show you things. So, and when you wake up, fellowship continues. How many of you are here? You will step into this dimension. Oh, come on, come on. Some of you don't want this. I said you will step into that dimension. Are, are you with me? Now, I was, I'm not telling you what by the mercy of the Lord we have not touched. So, I was. I finished praying, then I entered into that revelation. And then I saw the man, and the man was talking to me, and then he was talking to me. And I said, but the way you are talking, you are not talking like a man that is alive. He said, oh, you don't know. He said, I've gone. I said, you are gone? I said, ah. I said, you are gone? He said, yes. He said, it's gone. I said, I thought you were in the house. He said, ah, no. You will hear now that they will begin to cry that I'm gone. And that vision left. And when I came, when I became conscious for that thing, there was a cry in the house that is dead. There was what? So when the cry came, I called my uncle. And I said, I just saw it now. This, 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 this. And my uncle looked at me and said, Bonus so of You see, in that area where I live, there is no death that entered the place that caught me on my way. I know where men will go. There is a man that God said, pray for him to be alive. Oh. 
Because one great man of God has spoken over his life that he must repent before he died. And that now there is a gang God from his own house to kill him. So pray. So I told God to spare him. Though he deserved that judgment, but I told God to. He's still alive. Open the eyes of my heart. How many of you want to see? Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. of the prophet is when they begin to tell you things about yourself but the encounter dimension of the prophetic are you with me now is when they bring into the council of heaven per day per what Jesus look at it and say oh, amen. Amen. amen how can you host him and you are ignorant of his agenda how can you host him and you don't know what he wants to do tomorrow? Is that a host? Eh? But you find out something. You know something I find out? How many of you know that there are some people you are living in the same house, but they don't know what you want to do? And your friend that is, af that is far off in America knows what you want to do. Eh? Amen. May you not host him and yet he's not your friend. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you know what that means, man? It means he will be there, but there will be no communication. There will be no, no communication. It will be in you and it will reach out to others. And begin to tell them things about you that you yourself don't know, and yet you host him. To cry to God again. Before I'm not done with the teaching. No. I'm not done. I want us to ah, David can only we will get somewhere. I want you to cry to God and say, Lord, I host you into a fellowship that is not ignorant of your agenda, that knows what you are doing, and be able to bring it into time. Come on now, somebody is not there. Hey! Uh, somebody is not crying there. Somebody is not crying there. Sit down. Go and sit down. Praise God. What part are you singing tonight? Okay. All right. I'm looking forward to substitute you. And I will tell you why later. Praise God. Don't be carried away. Continue with the teaching. But I will tell you why I want to substitute. 
so that you won't repeat it again. Yeah? Amen. Amen. Are you still with me? So can we go back to that scripture as well? Into the knowledge of who? The Son of God. And I told you that knowledge here does not mean just knowing. It means experiencing the Son of God. Praise God. Hey, are you still here? Praise God. Experiencing the Son of God. There is, there is that thing. Then he said, when we explain to the Son of God, then we come on to what? A perfect man. That word perfect man there, in the original ones, means we come to a mature man. You become what? You become mature man. Uh, largely, a great number of us are still infanta. In many things we do. We are still babies. When Remy left today and then I was just on my I was just I was still boiling in my spirit and saying, God, why, God, why, God, why? Then he came to me and said, you are a prophet, but you know my manners. Why are you this? Oh, and I told him, I said, you know, you have been assaulted to death. You have been confronted. And I have to, I lose my peace and I lose my temper because of you. And he said, calm down. I will fight for myself. What did he say? And in time he says that. He says, I'm always, I'm always glad if I fight for him than for him to say he wants to fight for himself. I'm always afraid when he tells me, calm down, we fight for myself. Or anytime somebody does anything and I groan in my spirit, I say, God, why? But I didn't wrong this person. Why is this person doing this to me? And anytime he comes to me and says, calm down, he has not done that to you, he has done it to me, I'm always afraid. So most times, I go into prayer and fasting to beg him and say, don't touch him. Praise God. Don't ask me, prophet, are you willing to beg for those people today? Don't ask me. I have my answer, but don't ask me. I stand by his will. That's my response. Oh, you know something? Amen. When you become a matured man, then, are you with me? The sensitive dimension of the anointing can be poured upon you. You see, please permit me to use that word, the sensitive dimension. Now, what I mean by a sensitive dimension of the anointing is that you are anointed to a degree, are you with me, that your statement can alter things in divine agenda. Amen. You see, that's a state you must be careful to get to. When a man gets to that dimension of anointing, are you with me? Praise God. Praise God. His coordinates, his meekness to a fault. His meekness to a fault and purity to a dimension. A, 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 a man of God still exists in time. Still exists in time. Anytime any thought you want to enter him, he will see the thought before he enter. Did you hear me? Before the thought can enter, before he will think the thought, he will see it coming. Then the angel of the Lord that came to meet him will tell him, don't think that thought. Oh. Because if you think that thought, I will kill you. And he will say, why? He will say, because if you allow that thought to come, you will alter some things in divine template. So, when they tell, talk to him that we tell that thought, oh yeah, go. So you have the power to speak to thought to live before they enter. Ah, there are dimensions in God. Are you with me? You will host him to enter dimensions. You are not saying amen. 
So when some of you ask me, Esa, why are you still fasting? You don't understand. One man shut down for two years. He didn't go for any journey. How many years? Are you with me? For two years. And they decided to be praying 48 hours every week for two years. They pray in tongues. How many hours? 48, 48 hours. All the 48 hours that exist in a week. You know, you know, 48 hours is like almost three days. So they will rest, they will start again. And they pray like that for two years. You see, when <laughs> they didn't travel anywhere, they were praying like that, praying in tongues for 48 hours. So if you feel like eating, you, you eat, you are still praying in tongues. You want to drink water, you drink water, you continue. You want to go to the toilet, you go, you are still there, you continue for 48 hours. And they did that for two years. You see, when eternity will respond, as I was listening to the testimony, they just had a sound like, that one is stronger than God. No. So they went outside to check. Then they didn't see anything. They came inside. Then I think seven days later, they had that sound again. Then they left there. Then when they left and they outside, this one is not in a vision. They saw the angel clearly. <laughs> The waist of the angel was in the sky. <laughs> so they were just looking at his legs. After two years, then that angel now brought them into prophecies and revelation. From that day forward, that angel was working with them. It was that man that any time thought want to come. So when you look at you and then you want to fall into a sin, we look at you and say, ah, the way I look at this sin that is closer to you, this sin is closer to you for six months and two weeks. So in the next six months and two weeks, one sin want to come and tempt you. Are, are you with me? So you can look at it and say, ah, this one I'm looking. You are feeling fine now that you're on fire. But there's a lukewarmness coming in the next three days. That's how close. <laughs> are, are you with me? So the man prayed and God showed him something. That you see, if, if God, if... God look at you and say, ah, 10 years you will come into this anointing. It is not that most time that it is highly stipulated that way, but they've weighed you in the spirit. And they discover that it will take 10 years for you to get the alignment that will bring you into it. So they now taught the man how to come into it. That you can bring that 10 years and make it one year. Are you with me? And, and they ask and say, how? See, when you experience the Son of God, they give you spiritual knowledge. What do I call it? Yes. Ability to know things. So are you with me? They now told him, they say, see this is it. That, that one of it is, heaven expects you to be praying for four hours. But because you have genuine excuses, you are now praying for 30 minutes. So two hours should bring you into it one year. But now you are praying for 30 minutes. So they will spread that 30 minutes over the years. So Wake up, wake up. How many of you understand what I'm saying now? So, so, so uh, are you with me? Now, they expect you to sustain a consecration of fasting for some certain days. Eh? But because you, you cannot play with your belly. So, instead of fasting for seven days in a week, and you fast like that for six months, you say, ah, seven days in a week. I will be doing it 3 p.m. One day in a week. So, they spread it. So the numbers of days you are going to use to complete that cycle will be when you are going to enter into that anointing. How many of you are learning here? Are you okay? You are fine. Do you understand? How many of you are here tonight? Your eyes will be open. So you see, there is so you see there is a purity they expect you not to break. Eh? So when you break it, you will postpone a dimension. And what the enemy does is that it introduces to you things that will make you to keep breaking it. Though it is yours, so you will never enter into it in time. 
you may make heaven underline my word you may make heaven but your destiny in time you have not fulfilled it so you will get into eternity and see what you should bring into time and you will cry those are the things God will judge at the judgment seat of Christ Amen. So when you become a mature man, you understand all these things. Are you with me? Eh? What do you do? You, un you, under you, un you understand all these things. That was why our fathers came into maturity about these things. And their discipline was considered to be something else. No, they had understanding. Are you with me? That for a man to... You know, Apostle Moses Malade fasted for 10 years. And men didn't know the kind of food he was eating. And he didn't leave the room for 10. How many years? Because he knew that the dimension that God wants to bring upon him. Eh? If he should be fasting the regular fasting, that everybody will fast. He won't enter into it when he's 100 years old. So the man, are you with me? 10 years. He came into it. So when he launched out, he was a moving battalion. <laughs> ah! Wake up, oh! So when you see men praying for 72 hours, it's not because they are foolish or because they don't have anything to do. But they know that it will take that. There is a knowledge that came by maturity. may bring your unprecedented dimension into time. Holy Ghost, teach me what I should know. Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, they are not praying. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, by the anointing of the prophets, I come into it knowing now, 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 that God will open the eyes of a sister. And you will begin to see accurately. Yeah. You will, I mean, in, with all, you see, God will not be communicating to you in parables. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are hosting it. You are hosting it. Holy Spirit, I want you to do something, please. I want you to help me spread that oil so that you should not be one. So Spirit Divine, I am begging you from the front to the back. Can you begin to touch men now? Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, for you have started. Uh-huh, you have started. Help me touch them. Help me touch them. I'm already seeing one of them. I'm already seeing. I'm already seeing. There is a fire burning on the inside. 
there's a fire burning on the inside of you now. The flame just enter. The flame just enter. This is burning on the inside. A burning on the inside. It's a burning. Ay, 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 ay. Something is happening here. Mm. Something's moving. Something's shaking. See it's glowing. the back there there is a need for you to defeat what defeated your parents the cycle had continued now the energy is coming yes intensely name we have prayed amen peace peace I want us to finish this so that we can go now three of them are watching us live on Facebook and three of them are listening to us on Mixella one will listen later making seven four of them are outside the shore of this country four of them are I mean three of them remain in our The Spirit of the Lord is saying, They will host a dimension of a Noah. It is an, it is an unprecedented dimension. Because they will sit and things that will happen in the next 10 years, they will know. Ah, my God. Agendas of the kingdom. will come. And they will see it clearly. They will know things about nations. About people, about land, about continents. It's real. Aha. Uh -huh. some... And the agent of the spirit is now in our midst. It's in our midst. Yeah. A light just came in now. Spreading himself. And I can hear it. I can hear God saying, It is the teaching spirit. Teaching you things you need to know. Teaching is not that giving you what to know. He is teaching you into abilities. Ah, oh, kabe ya to na kaba ya tasama. Ah, he's strong now. He's strong in our midst. Jesus. 
Jesus name you have prayed Amen Amen Hallelujah. Sit down. I want to run now. So that we bring it to a close because it's obvious that the Holy Ghost is in a haste to hijack this. He's just permitting us to say one or two things and then we Thank you, Holy Spirit. That which you lost when you were seven years old is restored now. Oh my, oh my, oh my. He's here, he's strongly here. Come on, you got to live You lost it, he's back. Strongly. Kalemakwa Baratisa.
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now listen, if you can listen to me, please listen to me. Ah. You know what that means? Don't bother to knock. Just open and come in. You want the house. Do you need to knock? Don't knock, though. Ma, what label? Amen. Amen. Please, the Spirit of God still want me to tell you one thing, then we pray. The Bible said to become a mature man. To become a mature man. Give me that verse again. Till we become a mature man and we come to the full, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness. The fullness of who? The fullness of who? The fullness of Christ. Now you see. Listen to me. The proof of this is what the Holy Ghost wants me to tell you before we bring it to Christ. Amen. You know, sometimes when you preach, you ask the Holy Ghost, okay, you have preached this one today. What are we going to pray tomorrow? Then they say, wait and say tomorrow. Amen. The proof of stature is semblance in character and power. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know that one artist, Pabia, prior to Nakika Lonko to Beleki Saba, Leno Nanin Kukum Barati Sefere, hear the voice of the Lord. You have been dedicated to a spirit that could handle you before, but now you will handle the spirit. on you any longer it can't now I've said what he wants me to say but let me press it it is semblance in character and in power that's the proof of stature character holiness what is it of holiness that the enemy cannot rubbish let them bring all the weight of iniquity in the world and place it on it to break it off are you with me it starts on defy no matter the defilement of the land it is you see it is coming from the inside you are not trying to fake it and and it is a dimension of Of what? Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Any Holy Ghost that comes upon you and there's no proof of power is not His Holy Ghost. How God anointed Jesus with Holy Ghost and power. He went about doing good, healing them that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. 
Monte la bacote si anda di albahata saya. Romans chapter 15, Paul came. He said, I dare not speak of anything that the Lord hath not wrought to me. In making the dentist obedient, he said, True signs and mighty wonders. From Dolitarem, Radilicon, I have fully preached the gospel. If it lacks power, it is not a full gospel. Yes! You agree? Are you with me? Hello? He that you host is not weak. Mm. Christ in weakness at the cross. Christ in power at resurrection. If you carry a weak Jesus, you have not touched resurrection. When you host him, you come into this dimension. What do you come into? It is semblance in character. Are you with me? That even when you are asleep, you are still powerful. When you are eating, you are still powerful. Are you with me? You are praying not because you are weak. You are praying because you are in fellowship. So that even with or without prayer, because it's inside. How are you? Was Easter praying when Balaam was trying to cause them? You are not talking to me. Eh? Eh? Hello? When they take your name to covenant of darkness, are you still awake? You are dead asleep. Can I say this to you? If they can succeed when you are sleeping, they can succeed when you are praying. Do you understand? Archbishop Benson the Elders came back from a crusade and he was tired. And he said, Lord, I'm very tired. I just need to sleep. And he stepped. It wasn't long he started sleeping. Then he began to hear fire, fire, fire. Then he was checking, where is it? Hey, fire, fire. Then they check and they discovered that the sound was coming from his wardrobe. So he called them and then they opened and then they saw a lady naked there. How did he get here? And then he saw that they are planted there by the meat by some media houses. Just to black him that when he begins to sleep, just come out naked and hold it, then we'll come and take pictures. He didn't pray that night. But when he when Katon Katia Lassia Daba, when power sleeps, it's still power. John the beloved, the temple of Diana in Ephesus, according to history. And he told his disciples, I said, let's visit Diana. They were like, what's happening? Then he entered the temple and looked at the temple. He didn't utter a word. And then he left the temple. And when he left the temple, he left the place. And when he left, the temple crashed. Are you with me? A man came and let's visit Diana. And the temple, what? Have a, you carry power to an extent that you enter a shrine and then the shrine crash. Oh, ah, praise God. And they come and put one a Google shrine around your house. Even if they built it with block, all the marks there will catch fire before the following morning because they built it will call it Jesus. Stand on your foot. How will you be a mother and a witch will carry your child? You are weak. Carry power. Carry power. Carry power. Carry power. That even when they want to poison your child, your child will eat the poison and nothing will happen. Are you with me now? They will call a baby in the night and invite her into the cone of darkness for evil. Then tongues will begin to come. Bambro teleko shaba deka tele manzaba. In a baby tongues will come. Why? Because the mother is a carrier. 
Amen. Amen. This thing, are you with me? Is is covered. Eh? Because if it is naked, eh? are you with me? If it is naked, what? Wow. So in the days when the enemy want to assault you, they want you naked. And when you assault a naked wire, electrified naked wire and you assault it and you say I am angry with electricity and you hold the electricity and say what do you mean what do you mean what happens instantly no story no noise Electricity will not harass you. Hold the electricity. You are. Kilo sele. Ikuni. Abi. Ole lija. Koni paiwo. Everybody will just see you frying alive. Shh. And you know something? When you do that, anybody that wants to come and rescue you also will be fried. Until they beg them and they switch the energy off, nobody can rescue you. Any devil that dare you from today, instantly, immediately, they will see the hands of God. Can you cry tonight? It's going to be a cry. How many of you want to cry? That from tonight, because I host you, I will resemble you in character and power.
your existence in any territory should put an end to the works of the devil and you see amen when you host him and you touch that character dimension very well it becomes contagious it becomes what are you with me and men will see you on the street and they will shed tears and say god make me like that man hello men we what they will cry and say god make, make me you'll be walking on the street and they will come to you and say excuse me sir what happened to you i want it to happen to me whatever it is you know because you have carried that character dimension to a contagious level I want you to cry. To a contagious dimension. Are you people are not here tonight. Are you ready to pray tonight? To a contagious dimension. Let me host your character. loud amen. amen you see at that contagious level that's when we can introduce the culture of heaven to men eh? are you with me that is the way to reproduce heaven in men praise God and you will bring are you with me and you bring prayer to the street what will you bring so men will no longer stay in the corner of the street to smoke marijuana. They will stay in the corner of the street to pray. To what? Pray. So our street will now be saved once again. You will host it to a contagious level. Are you with me? You see, until we host it to that contagious level, discipleship is difficult. Because you will only teach men, they will never be able to do. Amen. And you stand as a children teacher in the children church. Because you have hosted his character to a contagious dimension. As you speak to the life of those children, is somebody with me? Something drop on them. Are you with me? And their life is eternally altered after heaven. Oh. Tonight I speak as the servant of God. In this contagious dimension, you will host his character. You are, are you here? You will host his holy character. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. How many of us are blessed tonight? Oh, it was a night of his manifestation. It's a night of his manifestation. 
Hallelujah. Can I say this to you? Because it is his own announcement, not my announcement. He said, because you have sought me in your prayers. What others seek with prayer that you didn't seek? I will give you for free. Jesus' name we have prayed. Are you blessed tonight? Yes. How many of you are blessed? Today? Glory be to Jesus. Raise your supplications to God. Tonight, this is what we are going to do. I want you to speak to God about it. Raise it up to God and begin to talk to God about it. Raise them to God and talk to God about them. Raise them to God and talk to God about them. Speak to God about them. Raise them to God. Raise them to God. Raise it up to God. Raise it up. Raise it up to God. Raise it up to God. Say, Lord, I raise them to you. Oh God, they are my cry. They are my supplications. The things you have spoken to me that I'm writing back to you. you give life to them, oh God. And we are raising those that have sent their own online to us. We are raising them also before the Lord now. We are raising them before the Lord. As many that have sent theirs to us, we raise them up to the Father and we say, God, let them become a living testimony. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow morning, as the Spirit of God is leading now, there's going to be a time when men will pray, they will honor prayed. Are you with me? Say tomorrow morning when we come here, we are going to do that. Men will pray what? But let me tell you how Anna prayed. Anna found a need in God. Are you with me now? And she transacted on that need and said, God, you need a prophet. I need a son. Give me a son and I will give you a prophet. Are you with me? Give me a song and I will give you a prophet. Now, Anna was praying. The intensity of the prayer generated tears. But no word was heard. So this place will be filled with noise tomorrow morning. But nobody will hear what you are saying. You don't know those kind of prayer. People are hearing Lord, but they didn't hear the rest. It's a groaning. Have you ever been on the mountain? You hear a prophet cry, Oh no! But you didn't hear the rest. But you know this is a strong groaning. It's what? A strong one. So tomorrow you will groan before God. Before. And as you raise them before the Lord, He will answer. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Can we tomorrow 6 a.m.? And you know tomorrow is semi final. Today is quarter. Tomorrow is semi. So engage very well tomorrow. How do you tomorrow? Very well. I know there are a whole lot of you that want to see me. 
Praise God. But listen to me. See me tomorrow. Okay, don't let me say anything. Praise God. If I ask you to see me today and you didn't see me today, and you are waiting for tomorrow, good luck. So it is well with you. Praise God.